Some other switches may have to be set before the dry run occurs and before the first workpiece is machined. The proper settings for these switches depends on the part program. Read through the program and look for any block skip slash codes like this one. With the block skip button on, the control will ignore any block that begins with the slash code. With the block skip button off, the control will execute these blocks just like any other block. M01 is the optional stop command. M01 is used in conjunction with the optional stop push button. The optional stop button is normally set to on during the first or trial run. With the switch on, the machining cycle will stop each time an M01 appears in the program. Another switch you may use during the testing of new programs is single block. With the switch on, only one block at a time will be executed each time the start button is pressed. It can be used in conjunction with dry run for total control of the machine to avoid collisions. Check the setup document and the program blocks for information on the settings of the operator controls. When all of the operator controls are properly set, the dry run can be performed. The jog feed override should be set at near 70% during the dry run as a starting point. With the machine door closed, the program is started by pushing the start button. This is the feed hold button. Pressing the button stops all tool movement while spindle rotation continues. During execution, the operator either turns the override down to zero or presses feed hold if there is a chance of a collision. After stopping the movement, compare the current position of the tool to the distance to go coordinates to detect a possible collision. Notify the supervisor or programmer if necessary. When the dry run is completed, be sure the air cut button is returned to the off position. Set the single block switch.